What's going on, people? Is your man the YB back once again? So, we got another leak right now from Anthony Joshua. Anthony, he the new Anuaki. I'm gonna be real with you. He's watched the fight, people. He in the Matrix right now. I'm a hater. Oh, listen, I was a hater. As I always do. You see the hands here? They're in the air right now. He back on. Oops. Anthony, the Anuaki Joshua. Yeah? Has responded to Fury's waffle and said the following. So Anthony Joshua, Anthony the Anuaki Joshua was questioned whether or not trash talk from rivals such as Luke Fury can affect him. Wait a minute. Let me check my microphones on 100%. I ain't trying to do another 20 minute banger and be caught slipping by this moody technology. The Kabbalah stay hating you see. You see that one there? Yeah? They ban man's channel and then they're interfering with his microphone technology. They hate him. Certified haters took about 100%. Anyway, so <laughs> AJ responds when questioned about whether the trash talk gets to him. He says, 100%. You take it personal and you meditate on it. You want to punish them for what they said about you. Luke, Luke Fury is someone I want to compete with one day. So everything he says, I've got it all stored in the back of my memory. And when the fight happens, I'm going to use it as a lot of fuel. This here, people, is the right bars. Yeah? It's in true AJ style. He ain't talking. He ain't really talking too much. He's solemn with it. Yeah? He measured. But as long as it's there, yeah, I want him to say the same about music as well. Now, I've got a video coming soon. Usyk came out in the last few days and basically said, I forgive AJ for what he did with the belts. Fuck all that. Listen. Yeah. Fuck all that, man. This is the fight game we're in, people. Yeah. If I was AJ right now, so I ain't sorry for nothing. Yeah. Only God can give me forgiveness. And when I send you up there, you can ask him what happened to it. 100%. If you're looking for forgiveness, you need to ask that from God. Only he can give you that. I can't give you nothing. The only thing I can give you on this earth is a good old fashioned whooping. Yeah? And I'll send you to meet your maker. And you can question him where the apology at. Because you ain't going to find one here. That's where you're not going to find it. I'll send you to that warrior's heaven. And you and God can sit there talking about how, how your ass got sent there. No doubt about that one. Those are the bars I'll be putting out. Apologise for what? Yeah? Apologise. The only thing AJ needs to apologise for is the fact that he lost his head in the ring. Throwing the belts around wasn't really the issue. You see that one there? The issue was, he did way too much after the fight concluded. Which was my main beef. My main beef is, he should have been kicked off. He should have been kicked off in the 36 minutes allotted to him. Yeah? Boxing is a sport where you are allotted 12 individual 3 minute occasions to lose your shit. You see that one? Yeah? Yeah? I have 12 opportunities to get busy. I have 12 opportunities to dash man's belt or whatever else. Dash man's head top all upside the place. In fact, really, in these these times, it's the only opportunity you have. The only opportunity you have to get busy. You can't go to the club and tear someone else up. You go to jail. This is actually a privilege. In these estrogenic times, people. In these estrogenic times we find ourselves in. But even men are trying to be women. Yeah? Boxing is... or f Combat sports are one of the few places... That you're... You're given the license to be violent. And at this level... The 20, 30, 50 million dollar level... It is not only your duty... It's your obligation... To get busy with it. Otherwise... Sit down somewhere be quiet. Yeah, apologize... Oh, you sick, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for disrespecting... The in my book, yeah, there's no £250 man like AJ could ever apologise to a dude £200 soaking wet. It just couldn't happen. Yeah? How can it happen? He'd need a gun. You see that one there? Hand for hand, there's no £250 man like AJ that could ever be expected to apologise for nothing. Some Donny could run up in your yard and have a go on your missus, but that's how things go. Think about all the lions. Think about all the cavemen who woke up one day with, with their missus in tow in their cave. And some next Donnie who are a little bit harder, a little bit bigger, oops, yeah, 
That was her ass. You see that? That's the course of history. Now again, we live in estrogenic times. I'm not saying I'm not a beneficiary, I am. It's beneficial for me, I'm not the hardest man on earth. It's beneficial for me that I can lay in bed at night safe from some big burly hard ass dude running up in my shit <laughs> and having to go on my missus. I ain't denying that. I ain't even sure where I'm going with this to be quite frank, but the point is man, if you're big and hard, AJ 250 pound and he boxer, you're supposed to be big and hard. That was the gripe here. You're big essentially for nothing at the time. Call me a liar. You in there politicking with Hellenius. Politicking with Muffin Top Franklin. No good. Big for nothing. Now the Nganu fight, the Wallin fight, he looked big for something. Dangerous in there. He come in there, round one, round two of Nganu. Nganu's dangerous puncher. Put down the best boxer in the world at the time. Fury, out of nowhere. 20 to 1 favourite. No chance of winning. AJ goes in there after Nganu looks red hot. And has supreme zen about him. And sent dude. I'm not even sure. Could you call what? What happened to Nganu? I can't even say he travelled to Valhalla. Because he didn't even get a look in edgeways. Yeah. Valhalla was here. And Francis was trying to. He couldn't look in edgeways. Couldn't even look it. Never mind pass through the pearly gates. Couldn't do it. Didn't get an opportunity to show he was hard. He just got knocked spark out. Right. <laughs> Yeah, taking a whooping and getting up and get, taking a whooping some more and then getting knocked out is one thing, but just to be knocked spark out without landing a glove, it's kind of like, mm. can you say Nganu's a warrior after that? No, anyone can get, like, any dude can stand there and get knocked spark out in the first exchange. It doesn't necessarily mean you're hard. It means you've been got expeditiously. Yeah? Intimately got. Caveman style got. The kind of got where, in the Fanderal times, I'm not going to do it again, but you can... <laughs> I'm not going to talk about the Fander Isles again, but you can see what I'm going to hit, people. In the Fander Old Times, a whole bag of man, that whether it was their missus, yeah? Listen, if there was some big burly in the Fander Old Cat, yeah, pull up at your cave and get you got, that would have been your missus' ass, right? But if there was a zesty one, for zesty in the Fander Old Post up there, that was also someone's ass and it would be yours. Do you understand? Yeah? Now, again, I've completely forgot what I'm talking about, but it's not relevant. It's the spirit here. Yeah? It's the spirit of what I'm getting at. And this has undertones of the correct spirit. Bad mind. Yeah, I'm listening to what all these goof troops saying, and I'm logging it. My only worry about AJ is, is that he's been looking red hot. I ain't a liar. I'm going to tell you what I'm thinking. And so far... AJ's looked, I believe this is AJ's peak, what we're seeing now. We've seen him go crazy before against Dillian White, but it wasn't refined, it wasn't calm, it was kind of like a, a dogfight. Yeah, the Germans versus the America, or the British in the sky just batting it out, it wasn't. Then, the next part of his career after Andy Ruiz popped his cherry, he was super light, his butt was tight. I said, I made an analogy. If you had a one penny coin, you could literally have slotted it. Between AJ's butt cheeks. His shit would have been. It was just too tight. You could watch him. He was like this. Whoever he was in there with. Butt was too tight. And now when you watch AJ. He's combined that ferocity. He fits him to take your head off. And he calm. So calm. Too calm almost. So calm that it almost looked rigged. Yeah. you got AJ. Nganu throws a jab. AJ just stand there. Look. And next thing you know, he on Mars. Next thing you know, the predator becomes the prey, people. And I'm just hoping. The only question that remains now is, can AJ maintain that? ngarnu has got slow feet. Wallin's no good. I want to see what AJ can do when he's in there with a Fury or a Usyk. And Usyk, we know. Chances are AJ ain't going to knock him spark out in two rounds. I want to see what happens when Usyk's in there doing what he does, dancing around, pity pattying. Is AJ going to maintain that composure? And let them have big hands go. I hope so. Because if he can, no one stop him. I've always said that. If AJ fight the right way with bad intentions. If AJ trying to make it to Valhalla in any given fight. He win the fight. That's the bottom line people. Usyk got won that second fight. His face was buzzed. Listen, Usyk's 200 pounds. He's not supposed to win. I credit Usyk. I've told you before. If Usyk goes on to beat Fury and then beat AJ again. He's the best heavyweight of all time in my book. Because he's done it all. 
a small man never against all the odds to beat them all. There's no heavyweight in history, pound for pound or, any, or otherwise, to be quite frank. I'd believe at that point, Usyk would have found a way. Do you see what I mean? If Usyk's able to beat an AJ who's on it and looking to, looking to get busy, and Fury, we can sit here and postulate, well, Lennox Lewis would have done something. But at that point, when do you give, not when do you stop or... Like, at some point, you've got to give Usyk credit. He's actually a bad dude and need to figure someone out. And who's to say he wouldn't have figured out Lennox Lewis too at that point? Taking AJ's power and Fury's skill and, and combined power to some extent, why not Lennox Lewis? That's the question. Bottom line. Now, Lennox Lewis is a hard man, but Usyk's hard too. That said, I don't see it happening. If AJ turned up, we saw the second fight. AJ was still, I'd say, he was better than the first fight, but he weren't really on. He weren't really, he wasn't confident in there. He was, both fights, one of my main criticisms, apart from the raw, look at the Fabio Wardley. Yeah? AJ's been missing that Fabio Wardley for a minute. So, but apart from that, AJ was always second. He was always waiting for music to move and then being second. Be first. When you're 250 pounds and blessed with Anuaki genetics, what are you waiting for a little dude to do what he's doing? Yeah? Told you the other day. I don't understand the logic of this government narrative of, oh, um, oh, they put a campaign out trying to protect bike riders, saying think bike. No, no. <laughs> We've all seen, I'm not saying all of them, not all bike riders are bad people. Even the bad ones aren't necessarily bad people. They, they don't wake up thinking, oh, I'm going to weave in and out of cars. That said, though, yeah, rather than the government wasting money pushing a narrative of think bike, bikes should be told, think car. You're the one that's vulnerable. Yeah? I'm in a car. That's not that's not gonna be my ass, that's a problem. Hundred percent. You're the one who can go flinging in the air. So you need to be conscious. I better not be driving eighty mile an hour, bezing in and out of the we uh, weave what rocking and weaving. Cause you might be doing too much with the bikes, that's the truth. You're doing way too much. You rocking and weaving and then you get clipped. Oh they weren't thinking about me. Watch yourself. Cause you best believe yeah, if bikes were driving sensibly and consciously There'd be no accidents, I believe. Yeah, you might get the odd female driver who she bugging, but for the most part, you'd be nice. It'd be Gucci. So, that's relevant to AJ's situation because you're a big ass dude. You shouldn't be thinking about what Usyk doing. You should, Usyk should be the one thinking, oh damn, look at Chisora. Yeah, Usyk wasn't ready and he was his first fight and whatever you want to say. He was in there. Chisora was in there on his business. He weren't thinking about... Genuinely, watch that fight. Chisora was not thinking for one second. Or certainly for most of the fight. The majority of the fight. Or the narrative of the fight was... I ain't really interested in what Usyk doing. I'm £260 and I'm fixing to get let these big hands go. And you saw the reaction. Usyk was the one having to politic. AJ go in there with more power, more youth, more ferocity, more speed than, than AJ... And guess what? Sorry, more speed than Chisora. And he in there, ooh, ooh, let's not do this, let's not do that, let's stand here, let's stand there, let's politic around the place. No good. And I'm, I'm, Ben Davidson's on it. Um, AJ might be around, Fabio Wardley, but AJ's old head now, still. There's good signs here. But we won't know people. I think he can knock Hergovic Spark out doing what he's doing now. You sick and fury, I can't believe that. I can't believe uh, if it lit great for me. I'd love that. If AJ can go in there, yeah, and spark Usyk out with one big punch and like Ngannou, fair play to him. Or like Wallen, just, just mat out matrix him. I don't think it's likely though. I'm giving Usyk more credit than that. What happens if we get to round eight, round nine, AJ's getting tired. What we see then, that's when we'll know. That's the ultimate test. Equally, if AJ go in there and blow Fury out and blow Usyk out, it just shows he literally Anuaki. Could be the case. But the largest percentage is he's going to go in there and he's, he's going to be a, a latter rounds fight at the best. So, the bottom line is, this is the right way of thinking though. Yeah, for a while he went through a hippie phase. After the Ruiz loss, he was like, well, he was just trying to sing Kumbaya around the tree with everyone. Let's all hand and let's all hold hands around a tree and sing by our. He was on that too much. Yeah, I I want I love my competitors and uh, yeah I don't mind Fury talking. That's his opinion and all that kind of corny shit. 
And no one trying to hear that one. Yeah? Not even once am I trying to hear them bars from dude. This is the right way. And Fury knows it. Yeah, AJ already said the other week. Fury don't want to fight me. He know what happened in Finchley Gym. Yeah? Tyson Fury came to Finchley Gym for some sparring. And Fury admitted this. And AJ punched him all around the ring. And sent him packing. Rubbing his ear. Like this. Ah. He, he clocked me on the upside of my head. On my ear. That's how Fury went back to camp. Went back to um, Bournemouth. Or wherever he's from. Some place in the sticks. That's the evidence. The facts of the matter people. Fury admitted it on radio. AJ told you. Punched him up. And it is, it, I can't tell you, I can't lie to you. It is weird to me. AJ had fallen off. It was literally August or July last year, yeah? AJ was down bad, looking washed. And Fury was saying, yeah, let's fight in August in Wembley. Fury flapped it. And that's when AJ managed to source the Dillian White fight, which didn't happen. So Fury, he's shook, man. That was prime, that was prime there. AJ was prime. At that point, there's no way AJ would have won. If AJ went in there like he did against Hellenius, it would have been a wrap for him. Fact. Against even the worst Fury. Because whatever Nganu did against Fury, Nganu was on. That AJ who's in there, literally, Hellenius was half in the fight, people. Until the knockout came. T Tony Bellend, AJ's best friend, was saying that. There was no distance between the two. It had gone life and death, both of them. So Fury would have washed him on, the, on his worst day. Or well, certainly won the fight. Fury still didn't want it. You know what I mean? Well, major, imagine seeing Fury sat there, yeah. Fury came, <laughs> Fury came to that Nganu fight thinking that AJ were going to get sparked and he'd be able to say, see, I told you Nganu's good kind of thing because I went life and death with him. It turned out Fury went there thinking that he's going to see AJ get smoked. It, next thing he knows, Paris is there like <laughs> clapping AJ's, um, what do you call it? AJ's marvellousness in there. He made fish food out of Francis. Yeah? Italiano gangster food out of dude. It's had him swim with the fishes. That's how he left Inganu. With the fishes or in my, on in the metaphysical. Knocking about with the atoms and whatnot. That's what he was doing. In dark matter. That's where he left him. One of the two. Pick, take your pick. Was Francis Inganu fish food or was he left in a metaphysical with all the hippies and all the spiritual zodiac signs? We don't know. Either, either does it for me. Realistically speaking. Anyway. Good bars from AJ. This is the spirit, man. But you have to foster that spirit. It's easy now when you're you're knocking everyone out in the first rounds. What happens, yeah, when it gets tough? What happens when you're losing or you're getting... You know what I mean? you got to do like... Use, well, both of them. Fury can tip-tap around the place and Fury can... Uh, Yusuke can tip-tap around the place and flap you in the face. What happens then? When you've got a man with a chin, a man with a heart, a man who doesn't know how to lose, a man who with it, which I believe Fury and Yusik are when they get in the ring. Yusik certainly is. There's no question Yusik with it. Fury is sketchy. You don't know if you're going to get in the ring. They're putting it all together, man. It's in them moments you need to be thinking about meditate. Or it's in them moments you need to meditate now. Hey, what happens in round eight when I'm knackered again? Yeah, don't forget. After the Yusik two fight, oh, I was too, I'm too big. It's not fair. I'm, it's no good. They're the times when you're knackered and you're big that you say to yourself, I'm fixing to punish, dude. Don't forget what I told myself before I got tired. Because we can all be, anyone can be good for a round or two, right? Anyone can believe. Dubois probably believed. In fact, Dubois was saying, oh, I'm going to punish you, sick. I'm going to show him what the, oops. Next thing you know, do on his needs. Like some two-penny hoe. Trying to blow, man. Fact. How can you go from a boxer to try and blow, dude? On your knees and shit. Big, big hard ass Nick as well. Embarrassing. OYB, you do the same. I ain't trying to box though. Yeah? For millions of dollars. I ain't trying to box for millions of dollars. And if I was, I ain't going on my knees, that's for sure. I'll go on my back before I go on my knees. That's how it should be. That should be the rules. That's why I like mixed martial arts. Yeah, mixed martial arts, there is no, oh, take a knee. Yeah? You get knocked spark out, even McTapper. McTapper's a quitter, yeah? McTapper and Dubois are very similar, both jackers, when it gets tough. Look at McTapper though. He couldn't just take a knee and have a break. Instead, he had to shoot in with Nate Diaz and have his neck taken. And be all twist up on the floor. That's how it should be. Should be no knees. Oh, I'm gonna take I'm gonna take a knee and then look at my corner and then no. Ryan Garcia, same situation. It should be we go until it's over. Yeah, that's what you're being paid for. You're not being paid to have uh, 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 who can do who who wanna watch that? 
Oh, let's see if this big guy can go in there and then give up when it gets tough. The fuck? You go until it's over. Well, don't bother. Sit at home like everyone else. <laughs> what is this? Oh, um, my name down you Dubois. Yeah, I'm six foot six, two hundred fifty pound. And I'll tell you what, I'll be good for five rounds. And then if it gets tough, I'll just take a knee and, and chill out somewhere. And, and and ski out. Nah, that's whack. That's whack. You might as well. You're a civilian at that point. Anyone can go in there and, and give it a go until they're tired and then sit on the floor. <laughs> I could do that. I could go in there and give it a go and then, oh, it's tough now. I'm taking knee. That's the, Oh, but they're boxers. I don't give a fuck. Especially when you're the bigger guy. Big hardback dude at that. Big hardback de bois. And you're in there with music. And you were telling us what you're going to do. And you actually hurt, dude. Yeah? The boxing gods blessed you. You just folded, dude, for five minutes. A round or two later, de bois on his knees trying to blow, dude. Whack. Yeah, so these are the things you need to muster. The principles. And get with it. And smoke a dude. Stay smoking on them as well. F Honestly, in recent history, the best example of what AJ needs to muster is Fabio Wardley, I'm, so I'm afraid to say. Fabio doesn't have the technique AJ has. Fabio doesn't have the power, I don't believe, or the short power that AJ has. He doesn't have the IQ either. He doesn't have the jab. All them things AJ has, yeah? Power, jab, speed, technique, whatever you want. He need to combine that with Fabio's spirit. Yeah, put all that stuff together, that, type, that, that thing AJ does, and then have that, oh, I, ain't, I ain't losing this fight. If you've got to go in there and tuck your chin down and drop your hands to your waist and just swing it, that's what you must do. And unfortunately, we haven't seen that. In Ruiz 1, he got popped and then backpedaled. Didn't want to tangle no more. Yeah? He could have put his chin down, put his hands here, protecting his whiskers, and just, let's have a fight then. You know what? It's all gone to shit. Let's fight, though. You know what I mean? If all else fails, I know I could put my chin down, put my hands here, and let's, you know, we'll, we'll have a fight about this then. Yeah? <laughs> if all else fails, you might, listen, he got, he lost anyway by the stoppage. So you might as well lose with throwing your cards in. Hey, you got me, let's fight now then. Yeah? You got me with all that tactical shit, okay, we'll fight now. That's the, that's the, um, the common denominator, that's the lowest common denominator. I came in here with all this strategy and all this planning, I've been clocked upside my head. And now it's time to fight. Yeah? That's what I want to see. And if we see that, no one beat him. And this, these bars here are part of that. Yeah, this is what gives you the resilience when it gets tough. I'm going to punish this dude for what he said about me. I'm going to punish... You think he's a nice man. He don't mean it the way I'm taking it. But still, like I said, there's no, there's no little man who can... You can't, you can't thank me for nothing. Oh, I thank AJ for apologising to me. I accept his apology. You can't accept nothing from me. In that fashion. In fact, the only thing you can accept from me is a good old whooping. Yeah, you accept apology implies that you... You know what I mean? Like you're... Like a teacher. You're in a... Um, a position of authority. The only thing you may authorise from... When me and you are concerned... Is for your ass to be whooped. Expeditiously. That is the truth of the situation here. Yeah? You can't authorise nothing else. Oops. That's the narrative you tell yourself. It's not even the narrative, it's the truth. Yeah? For this man to beat me, he would have had to have taken one hell of a whooping. Or knock me spark out in round two like Inganu. Either could happen. Those are the things you have to have in your mind. Yeah? For me to lose this fight, he has to clip me and catch me. Lewis versus Raman. Or... He will have had to have taken a hell of a whooping. Look at Fabio Wardley, for example. Great example of that. Fabio Wardley said, showed, if you're going to beat me, you're going to take a big whooping doing so. And that's what we saw, right? He was Fabio Wardley was gassed, cut, couldn't see, a lick of nothing. And still, he was trying to fight. You know that. Yeah? There ain't no easy way to beat me. You're going to have to go to hell and back. And even then, you probably lose. Right? Anyway, let me know your thoughts, people. Smash the like button, subscribe. And lack of the bell 100% and no doubt.